See what happens. What are you gonna do? Oh. Our most precious commodity is time, and it does seem like a huge waste of time for me to keep trying with this YouTubing, getting questionable results. Sure haven't gone viral yet. There's a pretty good lag in this. Pretty good lag. And there's a lot, a lot of things that I enjoy doing. And to be 100% honest with you, all these things that I enjoy doing, I am not necessarily very good at, just like the YouTubing. Mediocre is the word that best describes all of it. Oh, it's recording. Could make one wonder, am I just wasting time? Here's the thing, I'm not exceptionally good at any of these things that I do. And you know what? I don't care. It's perfectly fine by me. I don't feel like they're a waste of time either. Take, for example, my favorite activity to keep my girlish figure running. Well, let's be honest, let's call it jogging. I'm not going anywhere fast. I do love this hobby. Not today, Skeeters. It gets me outside and it keeps me fit. Here's the truth about the things that we perceive as to be maybe a waste of time. They are actually just as important, if not more important, than the things that we do perceive a good way to spend our time, like making money, doing chores, the dishes, vacuuming. The things that seem less important and more of a waste of our time, like our hobbies, are actually important because they bring joy to our lives. They basically make us feel alive and energetic so that we have the energy and mental capacity to do all the other things that are not a waste of time. We all have a limited time in a day. We all got 24 hours. And then there's the limitation of life, right? We don't even know how long we're gonna be on this earth. And then the way you want to spend that time that you have here is completely personal. How you want to spend your time is different than how I want to spend my time. And some people's, they want to be specialists. They want to be really, really good at one thing. And there's then other people like myself that are more generalists. We are perfectly fine at, <laughs> with being mediocre at a whole bunch of things and just doing a little bit more and spreading our attention a little bit more thin and thus not being able to be super good at it. And there's no right or wrong way, I don't think. It's just how you prefer to do it. Three miles, done. It takes time to practice and to learn a skill. So right now I've decided I wanna become the fastest I've ever been before. So that means I need to put the hours in to run and I also need to try and run more efficiently, try to do my training smarter. So I'm doing low heart rate training now, but I also need to think about my nutrition. I need to think about injury prevention and about stretching, but I'm not trying to win any race or anything. I'm not trying to beat anybody. I'm doing this for me. It's purely for my own joy, for my own fitness and to be out in nature. This is just really nice. It's nice to be out here. <sighs> yeah, I really love this. This was actually the first run I've done in this park with my new running vest also, which if you've seen my video about my uh, no buy year update, then you know that I got this. And I'm actually really happy that I have it with the little flexible water bottles here. It's like 96 degrees out today. Feels like a hundred plus. So yeah, it wasn't necessarily the most productive run in the world, but it was fun. And that's what it's all about with the hobbies that I do. It's not about, it being productive, it's about it being fun. And I do have to do a little bit of an assessment on which skills I really wanna deepen, which things I wanna get better at, which things I might have to let go of to become better at different things, and which of the hobbies I just wanna to continue to be mediocre at. 
but running is definitely one of those non-negotiables that I'll probably be doing the rest of my life because I just really, really enjoy it. And I understand that running is not everybody's jam, but is definitely my jam. Most of the things that I'm doing, basically all of these things, I'm just doing for my own fulfillment, not because I want to be good at any of it. Like, I'm not necessarily very good at the uh, ukulele, but if you do want to get better, it's all about consistency, right? Five minutes a day. It doesn't have to be a lot of time because that's something that, you know, is a question that a lot of people have. If you do have a lot of passions, things that you would like to do, like uh, drawing as well, for example, um, where do you find the time? Well, I would say you don't have to spend hours a day to get better at something. You can just spend let's say five minutes a day and kind of like pluck away, right? And then five minutes a day and you'll get just a little bit better. Eek. <laughs> but um, yeah, and same for me with my photography, right? I do sometimes feel the pressure that I need to always take good photos. But, you know, I feel like when you're practicing, there's no such thing as a bad photo and you don't have to go for hour long walks to take photos. You can just go outside your door and take a photo of your environment or even inside of your home. Find something that you want to take a photo of and take a photo. It doesn't have to be that hard. And don't discount consistency. Five minutes each, five minutes on a consistent basis, maybe not even each day but like three times a week or something, you will get better at that skill if you want to progress and get a little bit better, but make sure you want to get better for you and not for anybody else. So the two things that I'm going to be putting more time and effort and consistent practice in for the rest of the year are running, which is obviously no surprise to you, and getting better at using the digital camera for storytelling and becoming a better filmmaker not just here on YouTube. I also want to become a documentary filmmaker someday. I think the first step will be becoming a freelance filmmaker for various different other things. I need to get my foot in the door. That means I need to practice a lot with the camera. So if you're like me and you're a seven out of 10, a solid seven out of 10 in all these things you are interested in and that you want to do, you're multi-passionate maybe, then there's nothing wrong with that. Embrace it. Embrace your mediocrity. Mediocrity? See? Just embrace it. It doesn't matter if you're not necessarily that great at it. And if you do want to get a little bit better, then put in the reps. Make sure that you practice on a consistent basis. A little bit over a longer period of time can go a really long way. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, especially if you're still here, then you are definitely my people. Not a whole lot of people make it to this end in the video. 80% would have already clicked off. So I really appreciate that you're still here and that we're still chatting. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Pet a furry friend if you have one and let's chat again soon.